Hi everybody. I'm gonna be making a bacon cheddar monkey bread for supper tonight. I'll okay, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need three cans of what I call Wapum biscuits. You're gonna need two cups of shredded cheese and I'm using cheddar. Um, it's your choice what you wanna use. A cup of cut up bacon. I already cooked it earlier today. Let it cool off and just cut it up. A, a cup of that. Again, if you wanted to use ham or pepperoni, you could do pepperoni and mozzarella. That would be a good one. And then dip it into uh, pizza sauce. But what I'm using is a cup of bacon, two cups of shredded cheddar. You're going to need two teaspoons of garlic powder, a quarter cup I already cut it up and put it in the microwave. A quarter cup of melted butter. We'll take these biscuits and we're, I left one can to do so you could see what I was talking about. That surprises me every time. You're gonna be cutting these into fours. Basically just cut them in half, turn them, cut them in half again. The whole all three cans I've got two cans over here on this plate already cut up and then just separate them because they tend to stick into one big blob growing up we had monkey bread mom mom made it pretty often but it was a sweet monkey bread made with cinnamon and brown sugar and butter and it's very, very good, and I've made it. It's a dessert bread. Good in the mornings for breakfast. This is also good in the mornings for breakfast. Sometimes I'll pair this with beans. I'll just put a, a pot of white beans or pinto beans on, and we'll have the monkey bread and a pot of beans. But my, chick my chickens are laying really, really good right now. And I need to use up some eggs. So this is what I'll do next. I'll take a good handful of these and spread them out in a bowl. And I'm gonna put a little bit of my bacon and a little bit of my cheese, a little bit of butter. The reason I'm doing it in sections is so that Everything is spread out a little evenly. It doesn't like to stir well. Here's one teaspoon of the garlic powder. Here's some more biscuits. But yeah, it doesn't like to stir well. So if I do it like this, everything gets spread out a little bit better. I'll go ahead and put the rest of the bacon in there. Some more cheese. Butter. I use real butter. I've never used margarine, so I can't tell you how that will do. There's your second teaspoon of garlic powder. So you're done with that. I always use real butter. Cheese. You've got all your ingredients. I have preheated my oven to 350. I took a, my bunt pan and I sprayed it so it would be, nothing would stick. And I'm just gonna use my hands to mix the biscuits with the bacon and the cheese and butter and garlic and it smells really good. Now we're gonna put it in this bunt pan and try to spread it out evenly or as evenly as you can. Get every little bit in there because it's all good. All right, I'm gonna get some aluminum foil. Do a quick wash on my hands. Get some 
aluminum foil. You're going to cover this cake pan with aluminum foil and you're going to bake for 20 minutes at 350. At the end of those 20 minutes, you're going to take the foil off and bake it without the foil for another 15 minutes so it gets a nice golden brown color. Let's go into the oven. And I'll show y'all when we get it done. Okay, I got the monkey bread, the bacon cheddar monkey bread done. I got it out of the oven. I've let it cool for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to try and put it out on this plate. Hopefully it didn't stick since we sprayed it. We'll just have to see. It didn't stick at all. It's still pretty hot. Let me get you up a little bit closer so you can see it better. That is bacon cheddar monkey bread. You can cut it with, uh, slice it with a bread knife, or you can pull it apart. It's good and cheesy. Remember that you can try other meats as well. It doesn't have to be bacon. It doesn't have to be cheddar. Pepperoni and mozzarella would be good. Ham and Swiss would be good. Got a fly trying to get it. So this is what we'll have tonight for supper. I hope y'all try it and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.